Fire ants are a real pain, very invasive, but the crazy ant is reportedly worse, and it's displacing the fire ants in a few places. People are actually saying they want their fire ants back. Uh, no way. I mean, have you ever been stung by a fire ant? Ouch! Ugh! Well, actually, according to live science, compared to the crazy ant, fire ants are kind of polite. Saying they live in your yard, they form mounds, and they stay there. And they only interact with you if you step on their mound, as you can see here. Whereas crazy ants, on the other hand, don't have established colonies, so they go everywhere, invading homes and nesting in walls and crawl spaces, even damaging electrical equipment by swarming inside appliances. The ants are native to South America and were first discovered in the U.S. in 2002. Since then, 21 countries in te or counties in Texas have established populations of those crazy ants. But some good news. The crazy ant is actually a pretty slow mover compared to the fire ant, only advancing about 650 feet a year. So the spread of the invasive short-tempered ant can be slowed. Just make sure they're not catching a ride on your clothes and bags or other hiding spots. That's reportedly the primary method the crazy spread. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.